wonderful the mind of a child is. Allison, can you explain what internet is? I still love technology. And we are calling it iPhone. Hey guys, Mr. Ogden here. Today we're going to be making our websites. So if you notice on our stream, the, the, the newest assignment will always be listed at the top. So you can go to classwork and try to find it, you know, find the newest assignment. The hashtag and the numbers, like hashtag 002, that was our second assignment. This one was our fifth assignment. So that's why I have the numbers so you can keep track. But if you just go to the stream, then the latest assignment will always be right here on the stream. And you can just click it and it'll go right to the assignment. And it doesn't show up right now because I'm making it, but it says step one, watch the tutorial video below to get started. <clears throat> Pause, play, rewind the video as needed, and create your website like I do in the video. So we're pretty much going to be making our own Google websites today. So to start, you're going to click on your waffle and go to sites. Then you're going to click new Google sites. Then you're going to hit the plus to create a new website. And then now you have lots of buttons to click on. You're going to title it your first your first page. You're going to title it. So you, for you, you can just put your name. I'm just going to put Mr. Ogden's website. You can do the same. Put your name and then your website. If you like, you can go ahead and take the tour, and it'll take you through each thing. But that's what I'm going to do. Or you can just skip it. So Mr. Ogden's website. You can put something like, my website. Okay, if you click in the box where you see that little cursor, you can click and drag and highlight your text. Or if you click three times, one, two, three, in the box, it highlights all the text. And now you can change to a heading, which is smaller, title. Okay, you can move it to the right, move it center. Okay. This is the header type, which is at the top of the website. It can just be a large one where it's a picture. It can be a banner, large banner, banner, or title only. You can have it at whichever one that you would like. I like the banner one. Change image. So you can select image from ones that they have in the gallery. Or you can find a school appropriate one on Google, like, I don't know, basketball. And if you want to type in the word header, you'll get better pictures that are longer and skinnier. See how this one's longer and skinnier? That's a header, header, header. A picture that's up and down is not going to look as good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my header to an image from the website. I'm just going to choose one of these. There we go. And you see down here, this little stars it'll if you click it <clears throat> so it, it adjusts automatically for readability meaning how well you can read this text on this background so if I click it it'll automatically adjust my background so I can read it better so you notice how it went darker and now I can see the, the letters better so if you notice on the right there's all kinds of things you can do you can drag in these things from over here let's say I want to drag in a layout let's say I want to drag in a layout drag and drop. There we go. Now there's a picture I can add. There's a title, text. We'll get to this later. You can change the background of this. Emphasis, regular emphasis one. You could put a picture <clears throat> in the background of that. You can do all kinds of things. So there it is adjusting for readability. Again, if I want to delete it, I can just delete it or this also duplicates it. So it just copies it. So if I put duplicate, now I have two of them. So we're not going to do that on our main website now. I just want you guys to notice that there's things over here, all kinds of buttons and things you can drag on, sheets and forms, maps, YouTube videos, buttons, all kinds of things you can do. For now, we're just going to drag, drag a simple text box. So you're just going to click and drag. Or excuse me, just, <clears throat> now we're just going to add a simple text box. You're just going to click it. It'll pop up over here. And this is going to be a welcome message. So maybe like a heading. You're going to welcome people to your website. Basically, this is going to be a place where you're going to have a blog, you're going to have your work and projects throughout the year. So you just want to welcome people to your website. So maybe something like 
welcome to my website. Please feel free to look around at my projects and check out my blog. I hope you like my work. Okay, so something like that. It doesn't need to be uh, long or lengthy, but just something welcoming, welcoming people to your website. And again, you can change the alignment, center, right, left. So I'll just keep it left for now. And again, you can change it to really small, heading, whatever you like. And then you can change the emphasis, like I said, and all kinds of stuff. Okay, if you notice, I was able to change the background and also the font style. So if you go up here to themes, you can play around with the theme. So if you change the theme, it'll change that. You can click impression, level, vision, whatever you would like. Simple. Okay, and what you can also do is change the colors. Font style. Okay, you can change the color, do a custom one. You can do all kinds of stuff. So play around with that as far as the text and the theme. Just again make sure it looks good and that you like the font, and you like the color, and you like the background. I'm going to change this background again. Something a little bit lighter. There we go. Okay, so you can insert all kinds of things. You can even go to your Google Drive and bring in projects and things. We'll get to that later. So I'm going to go to pages because right now we just have one page and we want multiple pages. So just there's just a home page. I'm going to leave that called home. We're going to make another page. So hit the plus button and you're going to title this projects capital P and hit done. So that'll make a page there. So now I can click on home and that's my home page. And now I can click on projects and that's my project page. Hit the plus button. Do another one. Title this one your name so like your first name with apostrophe s yes, and then blog b-l-o-g we'll get into this later you'll be typing some reflections and doing some things on your website later so b-l-o-g with your first name apostrophe s yes, mike's blog or mr ogden's blog so for you put your first name so it'll create that page and then do another one you're going to title this links l-i-n-k-s make sure it's capital l and then one more you're going to title the last one about me capital A, capital M. And now what you're going to do is you notice all of my headers at the top are all the same color, all the same font. You're going to change that. So every single page will look a little bit different. So go ahead and do that. I'll do mine and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so if you notice now when I click on all my buttons at the top, my home page is different. I have my welcome message. Project is different. About me is different. Links and my blog. So if you notice, those are all different. So if you click on Pages, they're all right here. And those are your pages. Again, here's your Themes button, and here's your Insert button. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my About Me page, and you're going to fill in some information. So you're going to have at least 20 pictures or more. You're going to have at least two school-appropriate uh, videos from YouTube that you can drag in, and then uh, 200 words or more about yourself. So I'll show you what that looks like. and you're going to be drop, dragging and dropping in some layouts. You can drag and drop in an image. So if I just click and click select, I can search by URL, by albums. Okay, you can search all kinds of things by Google. Dogs. I can bring in a picture. So you can move it around, shrink it adjust it, all kinds of stuff. You can also add a layout. So now I can put a photo here, put some information about me here, information here. You can drag in a bunch of photos. I can put photos there. You can go to insert and scroll down to YouTube. Click on YouTube and you can search. Make sure the videos are school appropriate, so no music videos with inappropriate language or inappropriate videos. So a trick place, sure. There we go, and now I can change the size of my video. 
move it around wherever I want. So I have at least a couple of those on your website. You can have more. You can have more than 20 pictures, but you need to have at least 20 and then 200 words. So when you start typing about yourself, I like to play basketball. Okay, it's going to be similar to your family poster where you're going to be typing out information about yourself, changing the different font, moving it around, the size. You can change whether or not it's normal text or a title or a heading. And then I will show you how to do the word count later, but pretty much you need 200 words or more on your About Me page. And that's all we'll be, all we'll be working on for right now. Let me know if you have any questions.